In 1989, the Skidmore women's polo team won the Division I National Championship. One year later, Skidmore's administration cut polo from the athletic department and stripped the sport of its varsity status. Skidmore polo began in 1977. The team came on strong from the start, beating Oxford University in what came to be nicknamed the Second Battle of Saratoga. The match between Skidmore and Oxford took place on the 200th anniversary of the Revolutionary War battle with the same name. The polo team grew from there with faculty and student support. We used to have games at the Ben Lennox Center. Um, we would have hundreds of spectators. I mean, students would come down and they would get wild. They would play music and they would jump on the stands. I mean, it was a real rowdy. It was a, it was the rowdiest Skidmore athletic event. And they would love to to see you know the Skidmore team usually put the smack down on these other schools, Yale, Cornell, Harvard, whatever these other teams were. We'd have hundreds of people at the Friday night games. At the, at the barn. There's bleachers at each end and both, both sets of bleachers would be filled. The team's consistent success gave the school publicity in prominent polo magazines and attracted many international students to Skidmore. It also reflected the equestrian atmosphere of Saratoga Springs. It really thrived, I'd say, in, in the 80s. The, the college had you know, a paid, paid coach, um, the use of the Van Lynn of Riding Center. That really helped the club. During my involvement with Skidmore, I was definitely getting the sense that the college was not going to support polo beyond my, my senior year. In a letter to President Porter in May 1988, the athletic department recommended cutting the polo team. According to the document, the polo team's cost per player was between $8,000 and $10,000, too expensive for the school to maintain as a sport. There was also the question of competition for space in the Van Lennep Equestrian Center where the riding team practiced. Players, fans, and alumni protested. There were petitions made, there were more letters sent, and um, you know, parents wrote letters, donations were withheld, you name it. Pretty much everything that could be done was done. A lot of the polo alumni met with the board and tried to save the program as an intercollegiate sport and uh, it didn't, you know, it didn't work. Polo officially switched to a club sport in 1990. Hey, you know what? The question as to why Skidmore Polo was cut in the first place is kind of a difficult thing. I mean, basically the stables has always sort of been a little bit of a money pit for, for the college, and for a while Skidmore Polo was sort of the scapegoat of that. But once the polo team was cut, it made almost no difference. The issue, I think, really became one of, it was a critical time period for, for Skidmore establishing its academic reputation and one of the factors in, in my opinion was that Skidmore had a national championship golf team. Skidmore had a national championship polo team. Skidmore was at risk of being seen as a highly elitist country club college. There's a rumor that polo was too wasp be the sport and the school didn't really want to be affiliated with it. I'm not sure exactly how varsity, how having a varsity status works, but I know it would be a lot easier to get funding. We could probably have a facility owned by the college 
instead of having to pay all this money to board our horses at a different facility. Our major expense is horse board, which uh, we have we keep 13 ponies, we have 15 or 16, we keep 13 of them at the barn we play at, and that costs about $49,000. SGA support is only about one third of the club's total budget. I think this year it might be, what is it, like 18,000? And the club's total budget is 60,000. What we had found out coming back for this year was that the Polo Club was in $22,000 worth of debt. And then a few weeks after we found out we were in debt, we were notified that S was contemplating the Polo Club altogether. We have five years to pay off our debt, and if we don't pay it off in five years, then we're gone. Get more Polo is at a critical state right now. Depending on our budget for next year, we, I am pretty optimistic as of right now um, as the state of the club. I'm very optimistic. I'm hopeful that something's going to get better.